you said, looking to take TCU back to the tournament. We're set to play, and the first serve of the match is an ace for BYU. The Cougars coming off a victory in their last match against West Virginia. Yeah, very bizarre match in Morgantown. First two sets pretty close, and then a 25-5 set three win for the Cougars. Audrey Nalls had it partially blocked, kept alive. There's the tip by Livingston, who's the leading scorer, Melanie Parra, who starts this game in the back row. On the back row attack, ends up with the first kill for TCU. Yeah, you know, one of the things we were talking about in pregame, you figure both teams with a smaller setter that beats the team runs a 5-1. There's going to be some chess matches going on between getting Aaron Livingston, who is BYU's best outside attacker, against the smaller blocker of TCU, Lily Nicholson. But so far, Jason Williams has the matchup. He's got the bigger Jalen Gibson against Livingston in set one. And there's the dump in the middle by the setter, Whitney Bauer. You talked about it earlier. She loves to do that. Bauer is probably the most active setter in the Big 12. She will dump quite often. She's opened up a lot of space for her attackers when she does so. That's her 125th kill of the year. That's a lot for a setter. She is, she's a very active setter, a great athlete. See Para dug up that time. And the kill on the outside by Aaron Livingston. She had 18 kills against West Virginia last time out. She's been the leading scorer in 23 matches for this Cougar team. Yeah, she has over, or twice as many kills as anybody else on BYU. You see her that time hitting that right in the gap between the two blockers. Bram Schreiber on the receiving end. They go to the outside, and there's the first kill of the match for Jalen Gibson. Gibson with six kills against High Point the other day. She had 10 double doubles so far this year. The Horn Frogs have a lot of options in this particular rotation. They do, and Gibson has a tall task tonight going up against Livingston on the outside as that ball gets served out of bounds. Service error on TCU. Back to serve for the Cougars. Whitney Bauer. Her sister also on the team. There's a set in the middle for Bree Green. TCU doesn't set the middles that often, but Bree Green's dangerous in the middle for the Hunt Frogs. She is. You know, that was one of the things Nicholson did a good job of on Tuesday against High Point is they really started running the middle more often. And I like it on that play. A little bit of an out-of-system pass to the 10-foot line, but they forced the middle. Quick set in the middle that time for Mia Lee, the freshman at a vineyard, Utah. Yeah, Mia Lee, two-time Big 12 Rookie of the Week. This year, a great swing. And again, each team run in the middle in consecutive plays. Aaron Livingston now at the service line for the Cougars. Serves it short. Bram Schreiber on the receiving end. Melanie Parra with that swing. Off-speed ball dug out by Parra. They go back to Green, who clips the tape and will score. And that was just uh, one of those shots that Green wasn't trying to do that, but it turns out all right for her. And a ball off the tape, a sprawling play that time, and the ball just gets behind Bauer. McCumber, the libero, trying to dig that one out, just couldn't get to it. Melanie Parra with the serve. And there's a kill on the outside. That ball right at... Jalen Gibson, nothing she could do about it. Too, too much pace on that swing that time by Livingston. Yeah, one of the things that High Point had a very difficult time doing Tuesday was siding out at all against the serve of Para. Para, 45 mile an hour rocket that time, but a great pass by BYU on the side out. Dug out nicely and kept alive by BYU. Bree Green tried to cut that one sharply cross court, but hit the net. Yeah, that so ball attack error on her. Ball set a little bit inside on the slide, but I do like the fact that they're getting the ball to green early in this match against BYU. And that should result in a lot of opportunities for the outsides for some 
from balls that get set or hit into the seams. Diapo with the serve for BYU, and there's a kill on the outside. Katie Pryor with that kill. Yeah, Pryor a couple kills early. You see this one off of the, the off-speed dig. And the ball ripped sharp into the cross court from Pryor. Pryor 6-4 out of Henderson, Nevada. Once again, back to serve. Diapo. There's Audrey Green, uh, Audrey Nalls, the senior getting into it. First kill for Nalls. She's one of the seniors that will be honored after tonight's match. Yeah, I think BYU that time serving Green short since Nicholson set Green four balls so far. Looking to take her out of the offense by serving in the short ball. On the overpass, Audrey Nalls. Back-to-back -back kills for Nalls. See that time that ball passed tight. With Bauer, the back row setter, there's not a lot she can do on that. Bree Green with the serve, and that one is long. One of the things TCU did a great job of, especially early in the match on Tuesday, they really served the ball so tough. They took high point completely out of their offensive rhythm, especially in the first two sets. Got a lot of aces, a lot of overpasses, uh, and TCU continuing to serve tough so far today. Billiter with the serve, kept alive by TCU somehow, but there's going to be a net violation against the Hawaiian Frogs there. Billiter with a great serve. TCU did everything they could to just get that ball up in the air. Nicholson able to get an arm on it, but unable to get it over. Way out of system. Gibson has to hit it over on the third ball. Great pancake dig by Bram Schreiber, and Audrey Nall is able to cool that one off the block. So Nall starting to heat up. That's her third kill. Yeah, as you, as you said, a great, a great pancake. As we'll see right here from Bram Schreiber, the pancake. Nice ball from Nicholson. And a high flat shot from Nalls resulting in the kill. Nicholson with the serve. Tough ball to handle for BYU, but they're able to get it up and able to score as Nicholson unable to dig that one cleanly for the Horn Frogs on the back row. Yeah, Eden Bauer that time, younger sister of the setter. Whitney Bauer coming from a long lineage of volleyball players. Family runs the number one club in Idaho, the Idaho Crush. Their mother played it, their mother played at BYU as well. Service ace number two for the Cougars. Back to serve. Aria McCumber. A graduate student. Already has her degree from Washington State. Again, the dump in the middle. That's once again Whitney Bowers. That's twice she's been able to do that. And a timeout taken by Jason Williams. And she's talking to Sarah Sylvester about that covering up that dump in the middle by Livingston, or excuse me, by Bauer. She's done it a couple of times here. Another great serve and another good dig by Bram Schreiber for the Horn Frogs. They go to the outside. There's the block on the swing by Livingston. And that time, Livingston able to tool it off the block of Audrey Nalls. Yeah, great shot that time. They repeated the set off of the, the coverage ball and Livingston just chopping that off the edge of the block that time. 4-0 scoring run for BYU as they open up a 14-7 lead. Nalls goes to the tip and scores for TCU. That time Audrey Nalls saw the block set up and did a good job of just tipping it over the top of it. Yeah, Nalls involved offensively, her fourth kill in just six swings so far. See the libero dropped a little bit deep and didn't recognize the tip until too late. Nalls at the service line, they go outside for Livingston, dug out by TCU, but ends up over the net. They go to Livingston once again. Para has been kind of quiet. Big swing by her. Nice dig on BYU's part. 
Gibson with the roll shot and the point for TCU. Yeah, you talk about defending the setter dump that time. TCU a good job. Bauer actually mixed it up, threw that one into five. But a good job by Knowles on the reads and sets up that kill. Livingston able to cut that one cross court for the kill. That's her third. Yeah, nice job by, that time by Bauer moving Livingston inside. A little inside gap set and she hit that one four to four. Back to serve. Whitney McEwen Lairness. And then the shot by TCU wide, so side out as Potter tried to go cross court. And TCU really having a hard time in serve receive so far. Okay, a lot of out of system ball set right now. Nicholson sets the back side, and that one a good set for Jalen Gibson. It was, and I think Coach Williams saw something in the scouting report. They really run the right side quite a bit, especially the out-of-system or the in-system balls. A lot going to the right side right now. Which is kind of different than they've been running. They've been kind of left side heavy all year. Nicholson, the set tipped over by TCU. Livingston, Bram Schreiber with a great dig. Frogs will have to hit it over on the third ball. And again, in the middle, the dump. That's been successful for BYU so far here in the first set. It has, yeah. Three of Bowers, four dumps have gone right into area two right there with the power dump. The only one that didn't score was that one she off-speed to five a second ago. Para with the big swing and a dig on the backside by the Cougars. That ball just a little too tight to the net as Nicholson tried to pull it back. And another timeout taken by TCU. Something in TCU's defense against other teams dump that's going to allow her to set or to dump consistently throughout the match. Talk about her height, she's just five foot nine inches, so it's not like she's a tall center in the middle, but she's having a lot of success. Back at the service line here. Clips the tape. Nalls had to dig it out. They go to Gibson, and Gibson able to score as that one is off the antenna. The block was set up, but ended up hitting the antenna, so side out TCU, and that breaks the scoring run. Jalen Gibson will serve for TCU. And another right side kill off an in-system pass. Livingston trying to go down the line. Side out, though, as she missed wide. Well, TCU needs to get on a run from the service line here if they want to tighten this first set up. Yeah, that's the first attacking error out of BYU. Livingston trying to go over Nicholson that time. Very clean first set offensively for BYU. Third ser service error of the set for the Horn Frogs. Livingston now at the service line for BYU. And she serves it long. First service error on the Cougars. They have a couple of aces. We're gonna have a blocking sub this time. We saw Coach Williams do this quite a bit on Tuesday. Julia Adams is going to go in. Going to get a block on the left or the right. Have to get a bigger block up on the pins here. Melanie Parr, the serve, and no setter in the match right now for TCU. Parr with a one-handed dig, Adams. Power from the back row. It'll be interesting to see what TCU does here as Adams sets to Nalls. That one is blocked and out of bounds. So with no setter in the match, it'll be up to all six Horn Frogs to just try to do the best they can. 
Yeah, sometimes you'll see teams do that. And they'll try to play out of system intentionally and have the libero set during the rally. I'm not sure if the intention was for Adams to be the setter that time, but it did work out. Parra with the jump serve and the ace. When Parra can get the right toss on that serve, it's really be a lot more parity next year for sure. Melanie Parra off the ace, back to serve out of the timeout. Again, goes with the hard serve. Livingston able to handle it. And then BYU able to score as that one is tool off the block. On the swing on the outside by Eden Bauer. Whitney Bauer's sister. She got all the height. She's six foot three. She did six foot three and, and five foot nine, but Whitney Bauer does a lot with that five foot nine. Set to the outside for Bree Green. Tipped over, pancaked up and over by TCU. Great job on the defensive end by the Horn Frogs. But it is BYU with the termination of the rally. Yeah, small touch high off the hands that time of Knowles from the right side for Kate Pryor. Back to serve. Diapo. Nalls with a big swing on the overpass. She gets another shot at it. But BYU has been playing great defensively here in the first set. Back to Nalls, who just has to go to the off-speed ball and comes up short. But two big swings by Audrey Nalls, but two great defensive stands by BYU. Yeah. To dig him. Diapo, a tremendous dig. That's a lot of heat that time. A great dig by Hiapo. You can see why BYU is the number one defensive efficiency team in the Big 12. Nicholson went for the dump, but BYU was wise to it, able to dig it out. Good job by Audrey Knowles. Right against the pin, able to throw that one down. Yeah, you see Nicholson with the dump that time that got dug, and that's not always a bad thing. If you dump, you at least let the other team know you do have the ability to dump. So the next time she may give a hard jump set, she can hold at least one of the blockers and open up some space for her attackers. Bree Green with the serve. With the set in the middle and the side out on that swing by McHugh and Lairness. Tried to. That one deep into the corner, but missed wide. Green again. Oops. Kind of a knuckleball serve. And again on the outside, Kate Pryor with the kill. Yeah, Pryor continuing her hot start to this match. Fourth kill now, just in six attacks, hitting 667. She's had 11 this season, 12 kills is her career high, so chance to better that. And that is vintage Melanie Parra on the back row attack right down the pipe. That's one of the more difficult plays to stop. It is Parra. Just two kills in set one, both actually from the back row. BYU had two of the blockers set up just a little bit late. And TC runs that, that big ball so quick. Parra with such a big, fast arm and is, like you said, very difficult to defend. Lily Nicholson with the serve. Nicholson squeezed it in, inside the line. You can see the BYU defenders thinking that that ball might go out, but it stayed just inside the line. And an ace for the Horned Frogs, that's their second. And another one. Back to back aces, and TCU on a little bit of a run here forces Heather Olmsted to take a timeout. Yeah, you see Nicholson serving towards the stack of players. BYU in rotation four. So their setters. For the Horned Frogs. Goes right back to the same spot. This time BYU able to dig it out. Bump set for Knowles and Audrey with the cross court kill. Yeah, great set that time by Para out of system. 
Nice high ball off the net, a little bit inside. Miles rips that into the cross court. We have a two point game. And Nicholson on a 4 0 run from the service line. Set point. Eaton Bauer with that kill. And TCU got what they wanted. They got consecutive balls passed off the net, so Bauer's not an option on those 10 foot line. Just a powered, powered dump that time from Eden Bauer. Service error on BYU. Their second. It'll still be set point for the Cougars. Audrey Nalls now to serve. See if this goes outside of Livingston. Set point for the Cougars. There's Melanie Parra. And BYU again bringing Livingston inside on that. TCU gets, gets the block deflection from Sylvester and Gibson, setting up the transition kill from Parra. One point lead, still set point for the Cougars. And that serve is long as Audrey Nalls trying to go deep. Serves it long, and BYU will claim the first set here in Fort Worth, 25. As they didn't set one, TCU serving from rotation one. BYU starting with their best attacker, Aaron Livingston, in the left front. So we'll have the same matchups as the first set. Lily Nicholson will serve to start the second set for TCU. Nicholson took over as the starting setter back against Texas. That one off the block and out of bounds, side out, BYU. Livingston, nice high swing that time. They result in that tool out of bounds for BYU. Can teach you a lot of success, especially in service C, running the right sides. We'll see if they continue to try that. McHugh and Larinus with the serve. Tipped over by Gibson. There's the set in the middle and the kill that time by BYU. Yeah, Mia, oh. Sorry, Chuck. I was going to say Mia Lee. Mia Lee, Lee who had one kill early in set one, but very quiet besides that. So, again, we'll see if BYU's going to try to get the balls to the middles a little bit more in this set. Quick set in the back row attack by Jalen Gibson. Saw that combination a couple times Tuesday. Sylvester running that, that gap set with Gibson coming inside for that ball in the middle. And they had a lot of success on Tuesday running against High Point as well. Nice dig by BYU. You can see why they're one of the best defensive teams in the country. Really tough to get the ball on the floor against them. There's a kill on the outside. Again, it's Gibson. Gibson, a little off-speed shot right in the 5-6 seam there. Two to one, or two to two, rather, after that kill by Gibson. And TCU with the serve. Nalls with the serve for TCU. Quick set in the middle there is the block. Nicely done by TCU. Livingston on the outside, and again, TCU got the block up. BYU somehow kept that ball off the floor and got it over. Again, BYU with doing a great job defensively. Para goes to the tip and finally wins the point for the White Fox. TCU with a 3-2 lead, but wow, what a great defensive stand by the Cougars. Well, you see one of the adjustments Coach Williams made that time. They actually triple blocked that play on the outside from Livingston. Pari snuck over there and helped them get a hand on that out of system ball. There's a service ace for TCU, their fourth of the match. It comes off the swing by Audrey Nalls, and it's 4-2 TCU. And one of the things BYU doesn't have right now, if they are out of system, I don't believe they use Hannah Billiter to hit out of the back row. So right now it's just DS's and libero, so out of system, everything is going to go to the left side. Livingston with the kill. 
Aaron Livingston, the senior out of Corona, California, had 18 kills against West Virginia, a career high 22 earlier this year against Oklahoma. For Livingston, now she's the leading scorer, five kills. It's a 4 3 TCU lead. Nalls on the dig. And there is Jalen Gibson. Nice high swing from the right side. Again, TCU scoring from the right side again in serve receive. You see Nicholson gives her a nice inside ball from off the net. And Gibson right in that 5 6 seam, nice and deep. Bram Schreiber with the serve for TCU. BYU goes back outside on the right side for Kate Pryor, who had a really good first set. That's her fifth kill, first kill here in set number two. Pryor very efficient offensively, hitting 7-14. Livingston on the overpass. That one put back by BYU. In the middle, that was Mia Lee, the freshman, with that kill. That ball passed high and tight. Lee a little bit late getting up on that, but able to find the back of the court nonetheless. Livingston again with the serve. Backside set for Gibson. Nalls, or check that Nicholson with a great one-handed dig. That one off the scoreboard, so it'll be a point. Livingston dug it on the back side, but so much pace on that swing by Gibson, it just ricocheted off the scoreboard. When if you're not used to playing with the scoreboard hanging that low, sometimes you don't understand playing it off. The ball keeps on your side, you still have the additional touches. Livingston just bats it over. Bram Schreiber with the bump set for Parra, goes to the off-speed ball. TCU unable to get that one up and over on Pryor's swing, and Kate Pryor really doing a nice job for the Cougars here this afternoon. He's got six kills now. Got Pryor leading the way so far offensively. Quick set in the middle, and there's Bree Green. And that's what Jason Williams wants to do, is run his offense that fast. Yeah, TCU, a really quick tempo offense. Got middle and pins both. And like you said, a nice fastball delivered that time by Nicholson. And Green, very involved offensively so far. Eight swings and just over, a little bit over a set here. Melanie Parra tries to go deep, just a little bit long. That's a service error on Parra and the Horn Frogs. And the, and the ones Parra missed the other night, okay, were a little bit flatter, okay? The ones she had success on had a lot more spin on them, okay? And that one, the same, just a little bit flat, so that ball sails out of bounds. Hannah Billiter with the serve, and there's Audrey Nalls with the kill. Nalls playing in her final game here at Schollmeyer Arena. So TCU will celebrate their senior class after tonight's match. Julia Adams, Bree Green, Audrey Nalls, Taylor Rayola all in that group. Rayola right on cue, back to serve here. Quick set and the kill by McEwen Lernis. And Larinus first kill, but again, you see BYU getting the middles involved a little bit more so far. No Bauer dumps yet so far in set two. You will notice a lot of setters will dump very early in matches as the matches progress. They'll stop dumping, usually start setting the attackers. We'll see if Bauer goes by that philosophy. Nicholson says, I can do it too. As the TC setter comes up with a dump in the middle, and the Hunt Frogs regain the lead, 9-8. You'll see right here that ball passed pretty close to the net, and Nicholson with the flip behind the head for the kill. Livingston dug out by Bram Schreiber. Nalls. When Audrey Nalls can get an in-system set, 
really tough to stop her. Yeah, big heat that time. Nalls over the smaller blocker. Yeah, actually right in the gap that time, but I think she's trying to go over the smaller blocker, Bauer. Bump set for Nalls. That one blocked this by BYU. Gibson. Nicholson sets the middle. Sylvester had the swing, and there's the block. Great job by Sarah Sylvester. She had gone for the kill all the way on the left side of the net, still had time to hustle back to the right and come up with that block. TCU to three-point lead. Ach. TCU, again, a very fast offense, so they're a little tougher to block, especially when they're in system, but nevertheless, a set and a half to wait for the first block hard to believe. Nicholson with the serve for TCU. And that one off the block and out of bounds. As Sylvester was there on that swing by McEwen Lerner's. But side out. McEwen Lerner's, the graduate student at a bountiful Utah with the serve. Nicholson sets the backside. And Audrey Nalls with the kill. Ten for her. She's in double digits. Nalls playing fantastic on senior day here. Again, a nice delivery from Nicholson that time. And yet another right side kill off of Sir Receive. Nalls eclipsed the 1,000 kill mark earlier this year against Texas Tech. And there's a big error by TCU at the service line. So Mark Fox trying to get on a little bit of a run here. They lead at 12 10 Whitney Bauer to set serve clips the tape Bauer with the dig Livingston with the swing Parr just has to bat it over they go back to Livingston and they'll try it one more time Bram Schreiber with the dig deep for TCU. There's Melanie Parra, had it blocked. Got her own block back. Good rally here by both teams. Gibson, nice dig by Bauer from the back row. Livingston. Four. BYU after the long rally with the kill. Six for her. Yeah, best rally of the match so far from both sides. A lot of defense. Livingston recycling the play during the middle of the rally and then eventually scores, tucking that just inside Sylvester. Bauer again with the serve. There's Melanie Parra. They had the block set up on the right side with the 6-4 Kate Pryor, but not much you can do with that kind of pace on the shot. Yeah, just such fast delivery, and then, like you said, she's able to hit that gap, that fast arm. TCU's got to feel good about themselves. Para just with five kills so far in the entire match. Two of those from the back row, and TCU a close set one and a head in so far in set two. Quick set in the middle for Mia Lee, the freshman. Why you making a conscious effort to get both middles involved so far about halfway through set two. It's three kills for Lee. McEwen Larinus also with two just in this set. Aaron Livingston with the serve. Backside set for Gibson. Goes to the roll shot. Livingston out of the back row. And Livingston with another kill. Her seventh of the match. Aaron Livingston, 22nd in the nation in kills per set, fourth in the Big 12. Got married to a former football player, Hayden Livingston, while at BYU. And comes up with a service ace here. Going back to the back row attack. I believe that's the first time BYU's run the back row attack so far today. Looks like it caught TCU a little bit off guard. 3-0 scoring run and BYU is up a point here in the second set. 
quick set in the middle for Green, but BYU able to get to it. And that one off the block. And a point for the Horn Frogs. Yeah, nice job right here, Para and Green setting up the block. Green with some handwork to push that ball across the court. Great job that time by both TCU blockers. Broke the 3 0 scoring run. Quick set in the middle, and again, it's Maya Lee. Well, BYU trying to spread the offense around. The last couple of kills have gone to the middle. Yeah, I like what Bauer's doing. Early set one, a lot of dumps, not run the middle a ton, and now the middles just seem to have so much space right now to hit. Nicholson sets Para, and Melanie with the big swing. Picks up her sixth kill of the match. I think one of the things, LJ, you're seeing too is the difference with an experienced setter, Whitney Bowers, a senior. On the other side for the Horn Frogs, Lily Nicholson, a freshman, just displayed half a season. And you know, Bauer seems to you know be able to distribute the ball a little bit uh, better just with from the experience. It's not going as quick in her head as it is for Lily Nicholson. It is. Sometimes it's hard. Playing in these matches, you get a, a good crowd, a high pressure match. Uh, a lot of times, the biggest difference is experience. Nicholson doing a great job distributing, and it's hard to tell what is tactical from both sides and what is just the feel of each setter, honestly. It is interesting to see the kind of the chess match between each coach. The both coaches doing a great job so far. Both teams look very prepared. The level of play has been solid throughout both of these sets so far. Nicholson with the quick set for Knowles. Knowles tried to go down the line, but it's a side out. Knowles trying to go over the smaller Bauer, but Nicholson gave her a pretty big gap to hit in that time. She probably could hit that more in the seam, but forced it down the line and just missed a little bit. And a billeter with the serve. Serves it long. Service eight error on the Cougars. That's their third. Seven service errors by TCU. BYU doing a little bit better job at the service line. So far, they've also got three aces. It's kind of been the difference in the match so far, as you see the service errors. Seven on the Frogs. Taylor Rayola on this rotation in the serve. Tough ball to handle, but dug out nicely by the Cougars. who keep it alive. Livingston from the back row. Nicholson. The high ball set for Gibson and Jalen Gibson with the kill, her ninth. And I like that decision that time by Nicholson. They haven't run that red ball so far yet with Gibson, but she throws it in there in transition. And Gibson a lot of space to hit. Again, Rayola with the serve. There's the set in the middle. And so far. BYU's been able to pick up a lot of points here in the second set out of the middle. That time it was McEwen and Larinus. Yeah, it's that same set, that gap set, that B set, the old 31 set. It's been a majority of the points. I believe there's one slide kill. But the rest of the kills from the middles, besides the overpass kill from Lee, have all been on that same set. McCumber with the serve. And TC with the kill in the middle of their own. See each team actually employing a bit of a opposite philosophy. Is Nicholson more aggressive in set two? Bowers more aggressive in set one. And, you know, for TCU it's hard. You got Livingston, the best hitter for BYU. You're more worried about her. Sometimes you're not as worried about the middles. So again, the, the back and forth between the coaches, the blockers. Again, obviously passing and digging make it a lot easier for the setters and the attackers. TCU with their eighth service error and kind of stymieing the rally. Nicholson with the set for Gibson out of the middle. And Jalen Gibson's having a good afternoon. Ten kills for her now. Double digits her and net balls. Yep, now that same sequence they ran the, the previous time Nicholson was in that serve receive. And again, another kill for Gibson out of the middle. Mia Lee once again with the kill. 
She's playing a big role here in this second set. Six kills for her, most of them here in set number two. And that was a bit of an audible that time in that rotation from BYU actually having Lee hit from the right side off of two feet. And another service ace, Whitney Bauer with the ace, the fourth. Sometimes the coaches want to spread the offense out, and maybe let one of the primary attackers maybe have more space to hit later. But as this match progresses, we're going to have to see what they do with Parra on the offensive side. Punched up in the air, Parra reaches over. And TCU with the point. I think uh, we may see, see the challenge here. card here pulled by BYU as Heather Olmsted comes over and pulls up the challenge card as she is talking to the down official here. Yeah, and Chuck, this is going to be interesting. I'm not sure this is something that can be replayed. What Coach Olmsted is asking for is Nicholson went to save that tight pass. She one hand set it, a great effort, but that ball actually ended up going over the net which makes her an inadvertent back row attacker, but a back row attacker nonetheless. You'll see the replay here. You'll see this ball pass tight. Nicholson going up. Nice job actually to poke that ball nice and high. That ball goes over the net, which makes her a back row attacker. Pryor did get forced into the net a little bit on that play, but I'm not sure that's a play that can be reviewed. And uh, that is exactly what has happened here. They will not review this call. Yeah, looks like this is going to be upheld. And the call on the floor stands, and now Heather Olmstead wants an explanation. Well, a big point for the Horned Frogs. They trail 21-20. BYU leading one set to none. That is a big point, because that was a back row attack looking at it. It is this crazy scrambling type play, but TCU comes out on the on the right end of it. Bram Schreiber with the serve on the overpass. Melanie Paro with the putback. Good serve caused that. It was Bram Schreiber's tough serve that led to the point. Yeah, nice serve down the line that time by Bram Schreiber yielding an, an overpass on the BYU side. 21-21, Bram Schreiber again. This time a much easier ball to handle. Pryor with the swing. Set in the middle for Lee. The TCU had the block set up. They go back to the outside for Livingston, and Livingston just pushes it down with the kill. And TCU needs to try and get over the hump here as we take another look at the kill by Livingston. You see the power tip that time by Livingston. Looks like we're have another. Up. Sorry, Chuck. Looks like we're gonna have another tight set, just like set one. Enough, definitely to be expected today from these two teams. Livingston with the serve. There's the backside set for Jalen Gibson. Gibson with a good afternoon. 11 kills to lead the way now for Jalen Gibson, and she's hitting 579 for the match. Gibson doing a tremendous job, most of her kills off of serve receive, doing a tremendous job in the middle and from the right. Little confusion on that receiving end there for the Cougars, but they end up with the point. As Eden Bauer, the sophomore, comes up with the kill. Her father played hoops at BYU, and her mother played volleyball. Her sister, premier setup for the Cougars here. A lot of athleticism in the family. Gibson had it blocked. Nicholson goes outside for Melanie Parra. And Parra trying to cut that one sharply cross court. Side out and accept point BYU. Yeah, nice swing that time by Parra. Trying to go four to four, but just missed a little bit. Out of bounds. Timeout taken by TCU as they face set point and are staring at going down two sets to none. You talked about it before the start of the match. We were looking. You said you don't want to rely on the committee to get in. They, they would love to win this match at home against the top 15, top 16 BYU team. 
Well, TC has done a really nice job this year against good opponents. And that ball is a service ace to win the set. That is the fifth ace of the match. It comes off of hypo swing. Two sets to none, BYU with the lead. We'll switch sides and take a break. The graduate transfer at Washington State. Graduated from Washington State. She's got a degree in business administration with a minor in Chinese. That's a minor you don't hear very often. That could not have been easy either. <laughs> I would think not. Audrey Nalls able to tool that one off the block to start set number three for the Horn Frog. Yep, Nalls with her 11th kill. Yep, from the right side in serve receive, that row one right down the line. Right past Livingston. Nalls with the serve. Bump set to the outside for Livingston. Nice dig by Para. Had to go all the way down to the floor. Gibson. BYU doing a good job defensively. On the overpass there, Sarah Sylvester for the Horn Frogs. Sylvester's been a little quiet, but comes up with a big kill here to give TC a 2 0 lead. Yeah, Sylvester's first kill. They She's used more of a blocker than anything else. She does continue to work very hard to make herself available, at least. Now that is interesting. A 50-50 ball at the net, and it's won by Whitney Bauer. As she joust with at 5-9 with six foot three Sarah Sylvester. Yeah, and that's a play smaller setters usually win those because it's whoever touches the ball last and Bowers had so many of those in her career she looks very comfortable on that 50 50 ball serve by McQuinn Larinus nice dig by Bram Schreiber Nicholson sets par on the outside couldn't get much on that swing another 50 50 ball this time it's TCU who wins the joust and the point like you said, a joust that time. There's two middles going up in jousting, but Sylvester wins that one. Again, we'll look to see start set three. Any kind of tactical adjustments by each team. Bram Schreiber with the serve goes deep. Tough ball to handle that time by Billiter. TCU had a triple block set up, but BYU wins the point. That's a couple times with the uh, with Bauer in the front row that TCU's actually snuck over the third blocker to defend against Livingston out of system. That ball's got to get blocked. Yeah, that ball should not get tucked inside the block that time. Bauer with the serve. Gibson with a big swing dug out nicely by Bauer. And that ball long as he was trying to hit the hands of the blockers. But Livingston sent that one past the end line. She was. She's trying to go high flat that time off the block. Another triple block set up out of system as she just misses. Gibson with the serve. Quick set in the middle. Lee punches it over. Nalls out of the back row. And Audrey Nalls able to score. The set was behind her, but Nalls still able to reach back and just kind of punch it over. See the replay there, the white. That is a nice, nice tip into area four that time from the white. That's a hard play to defend. Gibson, tough serve down the line. Handled by BYU. There's the block. Melody Para got up and blocked that one. You can see this big smile on her face. Para doesn't block a whole lot of ball. Go, and the Frogs have a 6-2 lead here in the third set, trailing two sets to none. Jalen Gibson once again at the service line. And as we see often, coming out of a timeout, a lot of times you'll see a service error, and that's exactly what happens here. Yeah, you will. That's one of those out of a timeout. Usually you take a little bit of pace off the ball, serve a little more conservatively. And that time Gibson missed right in the middle of the net. Livingston with the serve. Nicholson sets the back row attack for Gibson, but the block was set up nicely. I think it was Lee who got it that time. Yeah, a bit of a broken play that time. Not a lot of options for Nicholson, so she sets the red, the BYU all over that time. Might have been Eden Bauer who was up there as well. Livingston again with a tough ball to handle, quick set. 
Breek retried to clip the line, but it's side out. Back to back BYU points. And it's a one point DC lead. Livingston's serving tough here in the third set. Again, kind of a knuckleball. Tough ball to handle, Nalls, and that time the block was set up perfectly against her in the middle. Good anticipation by the Cougars, and, and another block by Bauer. Yeah, and you gotta think BYU serving area one right now, serving behind the setter, making the offense a little bit tougher to run. These offenses, they're a little faster paced, so it's a little bit harder for the setters to set tempo when the ball gets passed out of zone one. 4-0 run for BYU and another block for the Cougars. Cougars didn't have any blocks. This time it's Pryor. And all of a sudden, three blocks for BYU in the last three minutes. Yeah, out of the out of the timeout, a service error, and then three straight service line. She's been there for this four of the five points that TCU has scored here in this run. Nicholson went with the dump, but dug out. Back row attack by Livingston. TCU able to dig it. There's Melanie Parra. Livingston with the dig. Melanie Parra able to score as she goes cross court. I think if TCU wants to get back in this match, trailing by a couple sets, they really need to start looking for Melanie Parra. I think so too. She has been pretty quiet so far today, and that's her ninth kill, which is obviously good for a set that's only, or a match that's only been two sets and 14 rallies, but I, I think when it comes down to it, they're gonna have to really, really set the three pins quite often. Melanie Parra at the service line now. And she comes up with an ace. Now this is where Melanie, if she can get the, that serve in, can cause a lot of problems for the defense. On that serve from, from one to one, or from right back to right back, with that side spin has been two of her aces today, and then she was very successful on Tuesday with the same serve, corner to corner. You can see that side spin on that last one. Lee able to get it over. There's Audrey Nalls, and a good set to the outside for Nalls, but that all starts with the tough serve by Melanie Parr. It does, and BYU handled it pretty good that time, but you can see you using Julia Adams as a blocking sub for Nicholson. Julia Adams going in and setting from right front. A nice ball delivered that time to Nalls. A couple of seniors complimenting each other. Melanie Parr tried to go right back to the same spot. This time comes up a little short. The 3-0 scoring run broken, but TCU able to regain the lead with Melanie Parra on the service line. Yeah, nice job that time by Adams. Something she probably hasn't done a ton in her career. I'm sure they've worked on it a lot this season, but just setting the high ball to the outside. She's not gonna run a normal offense like a setter would, but all she's gotta do with this, these outside hitters from TCU is just set the ball high and outside. That one off the block. Audrey Nalls went to the tip. Did a good job, able to pick up the point for TCU. And Nalls having a good afternoon in her final home match here at Showmeyer Arena. 14 kills now for her. And one dig away from a double-double. Taylor Rayola with the serve. There's the set in the middle and side out. They checked that, they're gonna say it was in. I thought that ball was out. And, uh, a little bit of a micro touch that time, but again, that gap set to uh, McEwen Larinus. They've had a lot of success with the last two sets. There's the serve by Billator and Melanie Parra. Just too much power out of the back row from Parra, even though the block was set up. Just really tough to keep it on the court. It is. That's just, just a low, fast set. Again, you see that time. Bauer reaching over a little bit late, defending the back row attack that time. 
TC with an ace. You know, you'll take them any way you can get them, especially when you're trailing by a couple of sets. But I'm sure that's not what Nick, Lily Nicholson had in mind. Nicholson, Nicholson's third ace all have come down the line in some variety. And the same rotation, too. Rotation four for BYU. And Nicholson's all three aces been against that. Tries to go deep down the line, but misses. But obviously, in that rotation for BYU, that's exactly where they've told Nicholson to serve the ball to, because every serve she's had has been in that direction. Yeah, it's interesting to see the different philosophies when, T when TCU's in rotation four, BYU is actually setting behind it. Because TCU setting or serving into it. Nicholson. Gibson just has to bump it over. Going for the center dump. TCU was able to defend it, but could not come up with a point. And they got it over the net, but an easy kill that time for McEwen Lairdis on the outside. They did. They defended the Bauer dump a little bit better that time. But nevertheless, another point for BYU. Nalls again from the right side. Well, Audrey Nalls just having a good day. Something we've been accustomed to seeing for five years from Audrey Nalls. 15 kills today so far. Big, big match so far. Bump set to the outside for Melanie Parra. Nicholson goes right back to the middle. Sylvester had the swing. Graham Schreiber, Parra tries to get that one off the hands of the blocker, just could not get over the top of it enough. And it's a side out BYU. Bauer actually changing up her dumps that time, being left-handed, she went with the left hand attack TCU defending it well but she hasn't done it so far in this match up until then the yeah, Apara still doesn't look as comfortable as she did on Tuesday offensively they set her to the outside and the block is set up as Lee got a hand on it Mia Lee and Bowers were there They're trying to go over the smaller Bauer the ball dies a little bit inside. And Bauer able to get her down the line. It was Bauer credited for the kick for the uh, block. Set to the outside. And that one tooled off the block as Jalen Gibson comes up with a point. A great swing that time from Gibson. Broken play. Nice high swing. Able to get the tool out of bounds, giving TCU the lead. That's Bram Schreiber with the serve. Bump set to the outside for Livingston, and it's Livingston with the kill. Aaron Livingston now in double digits with 10. And Livingston against the triple out of system block, able to find the smallest of gaps between Gibson and Green that time. Service ace. Number six for BYU. BYU again having a lot of success serving towards zone one in some of these rotations. As I mentioned earlier, it does make it harder to run your offense at a faster pace. The ball's passed out of zone one. Gibson just has to bump it over. Quick set in the middle for Mia Lee. And Lee now with seven kills. And that, many of the very flashy variety that time off the free ball. Parr decides to bail and go with Pryor, leaving Reed one-on-one, -on -one, or Lee one-on-one. -on -one. Bram Schreiber just hammers it over with her back to the thing, and there's Lee again in the middle. And the distribution by BYU has really gotten TCU out of sorts here. 3-0 scoring run for, or check that 4-0 scoring run for the Cougars. And all of a sudden, they've BYU on a 4-0 run with Bauer at the service line. And out of the timeout, we see another service error. This time, it's by Whitney Bauer. 
surprised coaches don't call more timeouts when somebody's at the service line. And as a former coach, there's nothing that drives you more crazy when a special service error in the net out of a timeout. And there's Lee again in the middle, and TCU hasn't had an answer from Mia Lee here over the last few minutes. Uh, so she's been able to score at will out of the middle. That is her fourth straight kill for BYU. Yeah, Lee one-on-one -on -one that time. That's a match up. She's going to win 99 out of 100. TCU, as you said, having a hard time defending the middle here. Para has to just slap it over. She'll score, but that certainly was not what she wanted to do or likes to do, but the set was kind of off the mark there from Lily Nicholson. I think she might have been trying to throw that off the hands that time, but missed the hands and nevertheless got the kill down the line. You'll see the blocking sub once again. Adams in for Nicholson. Adams will set from right front in this rotation if there's a rally. Melanie Parra at the service line. Really needs to get on a run here for the Horn Frogs. There's the set to the outside. Bar partially blocked, and TCU cannot get the ball over. A kill by Bauer, or check that, Livingston. Yeah, big side out there with Parra serving. As I mentioned earlier, some teams will try to play that rally out of system and maybe have the libero set, that ball dug off the net. I believe there's a little bit of confusion that time on who's going to take that second ball. It was Eden Bauer with the kill. There's the tip dug out nicely by BYU. Livingston just slaps it over. Nicholson with the backside set for Bree Green, and Green will score as she pulls that one off the block. On the slide, she had the one foot swing, able to get enough of it to deflect it off the block. But again, BYU late in this set, using a 5-0 run earlier to get the lead. And these points right now are critical for TCU if they want to win this third set and keep this match going. They are, and I believe this time we're going to have a bit of a systematic change here. Adams goes in again. I think this time TCU's going to change up what they do out in the out-of-system play and have Jaden Park set or Rayola set. BYU with the kill opens up a 2017 lead here. Again, a perfect pass that time. McEwen learns just inside the block. Again, that same gap set. Two of Larinus now with six kills. Both middles very active. The last couple sets, TCU unable to pass the ball well enough to get their middles involved really throughout the entire match. Green, a bit of a fast start, but been pretty quiet the last couple sets. And a billeter with a serve. Livingston out of the back row, and BYU's got just so many options available. And great distribution by Bauer. And it's really been a kind of dominating performance for BYU. TC is hung in there. Just cannot get over the hump late in these sets so far. And again, a service ace late. As Billiter goes down the line, Bram Schreiber a little late getting over there. And it's 22-17. One of the things BYU's done a good job, they serve the ball very tough, but they, until that, they have not missed a lot. And that's not easy to do. Most teams, if you serve tough, you're gonna miss a lot. BYU's ratio so far is seven to four, and seven to five now, you would take that as a coach. 1.4 to one, you would take that as a coach at this level any day. Lily Nicholson at the service line. And the other thing they've done, is that's a nice dig by TCU. There's Nalls, the block set up, but that one on the wrong side of the net, so a point for the one part. But I was gonna say though, the thing that BYU has done is when you get late in the set, they haven't made mistakes. They've come up with a big ace late, but not made that tactical serving error late in the, mat, in the uh, set. Nicholson trying to get on the run for the Horn Frogs. 
Bowers with the backside set and the kill that time by McHugh and Lannis. Big side out that time. Nicholson's had a good, a good run from the service line, serving down the line against the BYU team in rotation four, but a side out nonetheless, and BYU's two points away from the sweep. Nicholson sets Nalls, and Nalls will score for the Horn Frogs. Audrey Nalls, as I mentioned it a couple of times, in her last match here at Showmy Arena with a double-double tonight, 16 kills, 10 digs, hitting 483, so she's done everything she can to keep her team in this match as she's at the service line here. There's the set in the middle. TCU able to get a partial block on it. Melanie Parra, great dig out of the back row by the libero for BYU. There's the block, and again, it's Hypo with a great dig. Bramps driver. The set for Nalls out of the back row. Another good rally. We've seen a number of them tonight. Livingston with the kill, and it's match point BYU. 12 kills for Aaron Livingston. Yeah, I see her going four to four that time. Great angle from Livingston. Livingston's played a great match. 12 kills, hitting 243, but it seems like she's hitting a lot higher percentage than that. Match point for BYU on the overpass. TC just has to try to bat it over. Nalls comes up short, and it's a sweep for the Cougars as they come into Fort Worth and sweep TCU here. Whole game. Activate your recovery with UFOs. Hola, hola, hola.
रिकॉर्डिंग स्टूडियो सिमरा